Russia. The floodplains of the Volga Don and Dnieper river basins. In the few patches of European wetland habitat which remain unspoiled, an amazingly diverse range of plant and animal life flourishes. But there's one mysterious creature, one of the most prominent in Russian folklore, who today is almost never seen. Evolution practically ignored the Russian Desmond, who scientists call a living fossil. In ancient times, she inhabited much of Europe, but the march of human civilization brought catastrophic disturbance, driving her back relentlessly into the furthest, most isolated corners. In recent centuries, she was trapped in huge numbers and very nearly disappeared altogether. The few thousand that survive today are extremely shy and very rarely venture onto dry land. Quite rightly, for danger is everywhere. Here she is clumsy and exposed on all sides to a whole host of hungry predators. But on entering the water, a transformation takes place. Perfectly adapted to the water, she is confident fast and can spend over five minutes underwater without taking a breath. With a long white tail as rudder, she is highly maneuverable. And strong flat paws power her forward through the water. also come in handy for getting rid of pesky parasites. Food is abundant in this ecosystem. Not that that matters much, the Desmond will eat virtually anything. Anything from insects to fish or amphibians. But delicacy number one is undoubtedly the mollusk. Some things are just too good to share. Tiny, poorly developed eyes are not much good for hunting, but this is no real handicap. The Desmond's nose is a high-precision instrument which guides her from one meal to the next. And when it's time for a breath of fresh air, this masterpiece of evolutionary engineering acts like a periscope, allowing her to take a break from the hunt and breathe easily while not exposing herself to other, larger hunters. Not one for adventure, the Desmond tends to stick to accustomed hunting trails. These she marks out using musk glands, which are located at the base of her tail. The musk is a powerful, intoxicating substance, which sadly for the Desmond, made her a prized ingredient in many expensive perfumes. To add insult to injury, her sleek fur coat made her perhaps the ultimate fashion victim. Fur trappers caught her in such numbers that by the early 20th century, the Desmond had virtually disappeared. 
Unfortunately, the Soviet Union recognized her plight before it was too late. Desmond trapping was outlawed in the 1930s. In the water, this densely packed fur is perfectly hydrodynamic and traps in a layer of tiny air bubbles when she dives. Even in Russia's extreme winters, this extra layer of insulation keeps out the cold. Even still, there's nothing like returning to a nice warm nest. The design is ingenious. The nest slopes directly into the water, so there's no need to make perilous forays onto dry land. Enormous energy goes into building not one, but several nests, each with a couple of emergency exits. Unfortunately, not even underground bunkers are 100% foolproof. Staying on good terms with the neighbours invariably makes good sense. But this is especially true if your neighbours happen to be beavers. No fisherman with any sense ever places his nets in beaver territory, well aware that they will be promptly vandalised. The Desmond will even treat the beaver's nest as her own. But of course it's not all one way. Desmond soon munches her way through the local mollusk population the source of a parasite, which causes a disease deadly to the beaver. Humans are not such welcome neighbours. The construction of farms and datchas on the banks often spells disaster for the delicate wetland ecosystem. Animal grazing, marsh drainage and pollution all take their toll. Fishing is a lifeline for many in today's harsh economic times. But strict laws against destructive place nets are often ignored. Without doubt an efficient method. But it's not just fish that are swept up in the net. Once caught, the Desmond has only a few minutes of air before drowning. Several Zapovedniks, or wilderness reserves, were founded in the middle of the 20th century to secure the last fragments of intact wetland habitat for the Desmond. Rangers enforce strict rules designed to minimize disturbance In a few spots, Desmond populations were successfully stabilised, so Zapovednik's staff began an ambitious programme to reintroduce the Desmond to areas where human interference had killed her off. But catching the timid beast is not easy. Scaring the Desmond from her nest into a net proved difficult and so traumatising for the Desmond that many died of shock. Oh, yes. So Zapovednik's staff came up with a safer and much more successful method. But tragically, reviving Desmond populations has turned out to be little more than wishful thinking, and captive breeding programs have all ended in failure. Maybe the only thing we can do is treat her unique habitat with more care. Hopefully it's not too late for Europe's last pristine wetlands. And the Russian Desmond.